pancreas cancer, one of the most dismal tumors uh, in all oncology and particularly in GI oncology. Uh, what we have discovered over the years is that really our only option to control disease once it's spread outside of the pancreas, which is 80% of people when they present, is to use big time multi-agent chemotherapies that are toxic. Um, and, and that that is, uh, you know, it, what, what, what's challenging about that is you're already taking someone who's often very sick from a disease and to be able to extend their life by sometimes six to eight months, you're giving them very toxic chemotherapies. And so that, you know, that's not necessarily something that, that's attractive to a patient. You know, they want extended quality of life. Uh, they want extended disease free survival and, and they want quality of life. You know, they want they want to they want to have both. And so the 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 idea behind this was that there were some preliminary data um, several years ago that showed that uh, pancreas tumors that have germline BRCA mutations, and at that point we knew the range was maybe 5 to 15 percent. We knew that those tumors were sort of responded differently than the other pancreas tumors. They seem to be especially uh, uh, quite um, uh, sensitive to platinum-based agents. So Talia Golan, who's the senior author on the study, had a paper in JCO that had shown that, uh, that you know, platinum agents were great in this subgroup of these pancreas cancers. So then, of course, uh, over time, we understood that it was that it was the deficiency in homologous recombination in BRCA that was that was driving this kind of sensitivity. So then, when uh, the PARP inhibitor class of agents was developed, you know, naturally this became you know something. I think a lot of people at first looked at pancreas cancer and they said, "There's no way." an oral agent will ever be able to control this disease if, if, if fulfirinox, you know, can only extend uh, disease-free survival, or, or I should say can, can only hold disease off um, progression-free survival, you know, by a few months, how is this oral agent going to ever do this? And so I think that was the real gamble here, is I think there were a lot of naysayers who felt that this probably wouldn't work.